Hey everyone, today we're talking about place value. Yay, exciting! Let's take a look back at our place value chart. I know there were days you sat around wondering, if I have a 1 in the 1's place and a 1 in the 10's place, how do those numbers relate to each other? Or how does that 10 relate to 100? Or that 100 to 1,000? Well, let's end the mystery. Let's investigate. So let's say I have 1, 1, and I ask you, how do I get from 1, 1 to 1, 10? Well, we know that as we increase this 1, that eventually I'm going to get to 10, and it's not going to fit in the 1's place anymore. It becomes 1, 10. So how does my 1, 1 relate to my 1, 10? Well, I needed 10 of them. 1, 10 is 10 times 1, 1. And this will be similar as I move to greater place values. As I get up to 10, 10s, we know that becomes 100. So to get from 110 to 100, I need to multiply by 10. And a similar thing will happen, of course, as we move toward the thousands, because my 10 100s become 1000, and that's also multiplying by 10. So in summary, as we move to the left on the place value chart, the positions are related by multiplying by 10. Let's look at an example. Here I have one number circled and one number underlined. We want to know how those numbers relate to each other. So my underlined digit is in the 10,000s place. That's short for underlined. And it represents 30,000. My circled digit is in the thousands place, and it represents 3,000. So how do these two numbers relate to each other? Well, to get from my circle digit to my underlying digit, I would have to multiply by 10. Let's see which statement fits. Is the circle digit 10 times the underlying digit? No. Is the underlying digit 10 times the circle digit? Yes. That's correct. So, in summary again, as I move to the left on the place value chart, each place value position is 10 times the position to the right. So what happens as we move to the right on the place value chart? Hmm, let's investigate. So let's start on the left side. Let's start with 1,000. How does that relate to 100? Well, maybe it'd be easier to decide if I told you that 1,000 is 10 one-hundreds. Now, how do 10 one-hundreds and 100 relate? Well, to get from 1,000 to 100, I would have to divide by 10. In other words, 100 is one-tenth of 1,000. Let's look at another one here. How do I get from 100 to 110? Well, 100 is 10 tens. So again, I would have to divide by 10, or say that a 10 is one-tenth of 100. And that will work as we continue to move to the right on our place value chart. As you see, 110 is 10 ones, and dividing by 10, or taking a tenth of the 10, I end up with 1, 1. So in summary, as I move to the right on my place value chart, each place value position is one-tenth of the position to its left. Let's look at an example. Here we have 3,300. We want to compare the 3 in the thousands to the 3 in the hundreds. So let's take a look. My circle digit is 3,000. My underlying digit is 300. So how do I get from my circle digit to my underlying digit? Well, this one has three zeros and this one has two zeros. We know that I divided by 10. In other words, my underlying digit, 300, is one-tenth of 3,000. Let's see if that matches one of our statements. Circle digit is one-tenth underlined. No, that's the other way. The underlying digit is one-tenth of the circle digit. That's the correct answer. So, in summary, as we move to the left on our place value chart, each place value position is 10 times the position on its right. As I move to the right on the place value chart, each place value position is one-tenth the place value position 
to its left.